Hello everybody, Scott here. I want to take a few minutes and talk a little bit about the antenna pattern charts that were presented this week. Uh, this is a page straight out of the lecture six and just wanted to talk about how you actually read this. So, you know, what we're starting out right here is if you look through, you notice on the outside, we've got these degrees. So we're, what's happening is, is this is pointing at north up here and then we're pointing at at exactly 90 degrees east south at 180 and you know of course west at 270 so what we're really saying is if we look down here as we're following this you can follow how many decibels of loss you've got right there so let's take an actual example so if, let's say we have a city that's located right here we're gonna call it Scottsville all right, and so if Scottsville's right there, um, and we're gonna say Scottsville receives a, let's say it's a negative 100 dBm, all right? Now, if instead we've got, other than Scottsville, we've got another city. Let's say we have a city that's right next to Scottsville, all right, right here at five degrees. What we do is we follow this down and we see where they are. And so we can see this is 20 dB, this is 30 dB, you know, we're right, right a little bit before 30 dB. So we can say that the received signal at this point is going to be, let's say that's about 28 dB less than we had at Scottsville. If instead we had a city that was sitting right over here at right 30. We're gonna follow, we're gonna follow this in, and we're going to see this line, which goes all the way around. All right, we're gonna follow that around, and we're gonna see, oh boy, we're almost at 90 dB less. So at that case, we're gonna be able to follow through and see exactly how effective our antenna is in each area. So hopefully that's a little helpful and shows you actually how to read these charts. Um, these are provided for a lot of antennas. If you're actually looking on like the Cisco website and you're purchasing Wi-Fi antennas, uh, these are quite often shown in this format and can actually be pretty useful to know how to read these. I thought it might be useful. Thanks, everybody.